and formal pollution and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not uh, be once named among you as become a sin. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not comedian, but rather the giving of thanks. Well, here in the Apostle Paul names quite an array of sins. And we have to eliminate these sins from our lives. I think probably one of the most uh, common sins in the life of the uh, of life might be covetousness. We might cover this and that in our hearts and not really uh, but we have eliminated it, but so we need to hide some of the other things that we're talking about. Uh, fornication, unseenness, foolish talking, guessing, which are not right, are not convenient or befitting, but rather the good in a sense. While all of those are obvious on the outside, and we are supposed to have any of them in our lives as food. For this you know that no warmonger nor unseen person nor covetous man who is an idolater. The word of things that covetousness uh, was the same as idolatry. That's exactly what Paul says. Covetousness is the same as idolatry. You have made an idol out of something and you desire it so much that it consumes your whole fiber and every waking moment to just longing for this particular thing, whatever it is. Uh, that individual has no inheritance in the kingdom of Messiah and Yahweh's kingdom. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. Do not be there with them. For you were sometimes darkness, but now you are light in the master, what the children of life. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Well, now, there is a fruit that will be born by the Spirit. It will be motivated by the Spirit of Yahweh. And that is goodness, righteousness, and truth. Now, are we compromising in any way with this kind of truth? Are we compromising with the truth? Are we compromising with righteousness? Are we bending Yahweh's law in any way? Are we allowing the fruit of the Spirit or the Spirit to produce a fruit of goodness in our lives? But the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth. And that's exactly what the nine fruits of the Spirit are. That's all the numerals in Galatians 5. Proving what is acceptable unto Yahshua and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Now, if you would talk to somebody in the assembly of Yahweh and that individual uh, just hasn't had perfect understanding of something and you're doing something with it, do we reprove them? Well, now that's what all of us are responsible for doing. We certainly try to do it on the, in the outside world. And we should do it also here. Yeah. And this fellowship is the unfruitful works of darkness. Because we are in life. The Holy Spirit has given us life. For it is saying, even to speak of those things which are dark, are then in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light, for what the other person manifests is life. Therefore, he says, a will God and truth is going to rise from the dead, and the power shall give you life. See then that you walk circumspectly, precisely, exactly, rapidly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. 
because the deeds are evil. Therefore, do you have a wise to understand it? What the will of Yahweh is? Well, what is the will of Yahweh? That you should obey him and keep his commandments. Well, now let's ask ourselves the question, how can we be cut off from the mind? If we don't say a truth, how can we be cut off from the mind? Well, one of these days is backsliding. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 4. For well, it is impossible for those who have been enlightened and have been to the heaven of the and have been forgiven from the Holy Spirit. And I'm thirsting of the good word of Yahweh. You know, I, I'll never be the same again as I was before the moment that my eyes were truly open to Yahweh's truth. And that happened about 15 or 15 years ago. I'll never be the same again. I couldn't go back to the Roman church. I have tasted of the good word of Yahweh and the power of the Lord to come. The Holy Spirit has been in my heart. And I have been a partaker of the nature of Yahweh. If I lose all of that, then I'm going to be a partaker of me. Just exactly what happened to you. This, uh, you have also tasted of the good word of Yahweh and the powers of the world to come, and you know what I mean. You couldn't go back to a world of faith because you can compromise in your conscience. If it's a fall away, it will remove them again unto repentance. So that's why we have to be careful. How can we ever renew someone to repentance if they fall away and they're overcome? As we read in the second chapter. Seeing that they impaired for themselves, the Son of Yahweh slept and put into an open chain. For the earth is built within the room that cometh off the cover that brings to the earth, built for the earth by whom it is blessed or cultivated. You see the blessing from Yahweh, but that which stands for us is God is rejected. And as now is the person whose end is to be burned. There you have the burning of the, of the branches that don't bear good fruit, or suffer fruit perhaps. They're leaching onto the good uh, branches and sapping the strength away from them. In Jude verses 12 and 13, you know what it says in the, in the first chapter and in the second chapter when the sons of Yahweh presented themselves to do Yahweh things in the gospel there among them. And we, we see that almost every feast that we attend, these are spots on your feast of charity. When they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. In recent years, we have had to tighten up the organization of the Assemblies of Yahweh because in the past there were people who just ran rampant and spread all kinds of false doctrine around the organization. They came to our feasts of love and they made them feasts of hate. Feeding themselves without fear, clad they are without water, carried about a wind. Who is food with it? Without food, five days have to the In other words, they're destined for the second death. Well, I cannot do that people come into the assembly of the Lord are cut off from the mind. What is going to happen? Judah was one of Yahshua's very early disciples and look at his head. But I want you to look at this again. Clive without water. Many times uh, these people seem to put forth a message and look when you examine them, they don't know what they're talking about. I've had some rather interesting and uh, humorous incidents happen at the Feasters in uh, years past. And that Sunday I'm going to give you some of those incidents. There are 
without water, carried about by only the doctor. There are trees whose food withers. And that can happen so quickly sometimes if a little worm or something eats off a root and there is no more nourishment, just as when they cut themselves off from Yahshua.